Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Turbo Dork's new colour shift paints and also uh, some of the paints that were sent in this range are from the old range but they've been updated to a new formula uh, that works absolutely fantastic. Here I'm showing you some auto air colours reducer or airbrush thinner if you like and that's what I'll be using to thin down all of these Turbo Dork paints in the airbrush um, so I can get them to spray smoothly. They are acrylic so you can use regular water uh, to thin the paints down but I find a dedicated airbrush thinner is going to work better with these Turbo Dork paints. Okay, as you can see, we're going to start with the mother load first of all. And the great thing about these Turbo Door paints is, as you can see from the side of each of the paints, it actually gives you a guide of how to spray them and how many coats you should be looking for. This particular paint says that it works best over a white undercoat, whereas most of the paints will be generally going to be black. Uh, but anyway, I'm working here at about 20 psi and I've thinned the paint down with that auto uh, air colours reducer and after two passes of the airbrush, some of the miniatures get two to three uh, passes, so we'll just say on average three passes of the airbrush this is what the miniature looks like and as you can see it's a beautiful uh, mixture of like a pearlescent and, and greeny bluey tone really love this color so this is what the mother load looks like now we're going to hand brush paint lunar eclipse now these turbo door paints are great to paint with an airbrush but you can also hand brush paint the paints as well. I thoroughly shake the bottles which are fantastic as they have agitators in each of the bottles so as you shake them up they're going to get mixed thoroughly. But as you can see I apply the uh, lunar eclipse nice and thin on the miniature and I do it in three passes and then we'll come back in a moment and we'll see what the miniature looks like once it's been fully coated with the lunar eclipse. And here you can see what the lunar eclipse looks like uh, after three passes of it really thin. As you can see, it's not 100% perfect as it, you would get with an airbrush. Um, but if you thin down the paint a little bit more than I did and did it in, say, three to five thin layers, you'd probably get very, very similar results to the airbrush. But as it happens to be, it's still a nice result, even hand brush painting. Now we're going to be airbrushing Miami Sunset.
and after three coats of Miami Sunset you can see that it's an absolutely beautiful colour. As I mentioned a moment ago when I was hand brush painting I prefer to airbrush these paints for two reasons. One, you're going to get the most smoothest application and two, it's a lot quicker airbrushing than it is hand brush painting. Now we're going to paint using Sugar Rush. And here you can see what Sugar Rush looks like fully cured and as you can see it's a beautiful colour transition uh, that you can see here and the purple is so vivid and vibrant. Now we're going to airbrush wave length. And here you can see wave length fully cured after three passes of the airbrush with thin down turbo dot paint. And uh, this is one of my favourite colours, really like this one. Now we're going to be painting Forest Flux. And here you can see what Forest Flux looks like after fully curing with three thin passes of the paint. This is a beautiful gold to green colour transition and um, I think it looks really nice. Now we're going to airbrush let them eat cake.
and here you can see what let them eat cake looks like after fully curing Now we're going to paint Sweet Dreams And this is what Sweet Dreams looks like after drying. Really vibrant purple there. Absolutely love this colour. Now we're going to be painting using Molten Mantle And here's what Molten Mantle looks like after three thin passes of the airbrush. Now we're going to airbrush cloud 9 And here we can see how beautiful Cloud9 looks after drying. This is another one of my favourite colours as the colour transition is very very uh, easy to see even on a 28mm miniature. What you'll find is that on open large spaces you can see the colour transition a lot easier than you can on tiny little 28mm miniatures. So on vehicles or large creatures you'll notice the effect even more. Now we're going to spray Eyes to Never.
and another beautiful colour from Turbo Dork called Ice to Nether. I love this transition from blue to purple. Really nice colour. Now we're going to airbrush Shifting Sands. And here what we can see what Shifting Sands looks like after fully curing a beautiful gold colour. Here you can see that I'm spraying Crystal Cavern. And here we can see what Crystal Cavern looks like after drying. I reviewed Turbo Dork paints uh, 1.0 if you like, the original Turbo Dork paints and I thought that was absolutely fantastic. Uh, the new formula is a tiny little bit thicker than the old formula but that's for a good reason, it's to help um, the medium and the paints uh, not split up so much. Uh, I'm probably not explaining myself correctly so it might be easier to go over to the website and hear their full blurb on it but basically it's an improvement over the original formula and brush painting works out really well better than I thought it would to be quite honest um, I really like these paints you could argue what am I going to use these paints for but if you want to start a custom space marine chapter or you want some really funky looking Xenos or you want some really cool looking power weapons these paints are perfect for that sort of task so uh, guys I really want to hear your thoughts on Turbo Dork paints as I think they're great but I do want to hear your thoughts as well so put a comment in the comments field down below also I gave this full set of paints away on my Facebook page recently if you want to win uh, some really great products go over to my Facebook page I give away a lot of items on Facebook and um, yeah uh, thank you very much to Greg for sending me out the turbo door paints and thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I'll catch you in the next one